Hey, what's going on everybody? How's it going? First ever vlog from the new bike. We're on the NX500, man. Check it out, check it out, here she is. What should I name her? Drop in the comments, what should I name her? You know, all my bikes have had names. Uh, my last bike is a fun to ride, but a pain in the ass after about a little bit of time. <laughs> Anyways, we won't go down that avenue, man. But uh, we're on the we're on the uh, we're on the new bike, having a good time. First, really, a couple rides. I, you know, I did ride it home from the dealership. I rode it all day that day. And as if you guys watched some of my videos before, you know the registration process takes some time, and you just can't take a, a bike home and ride it. You know, like you would in the states. So. Um, but yeah, I've done a bunch of videos on that and talked about that already as the process. Uh, look back at those if you'd like to find out more information around that. But today we're just kind of doing the first kind of uh, initial thoughts about the, the ride. That's kind of the intent in this video. I'm on my way up the Trans Central Highway. It looks like we might get a little bit of rain. Uh, but yeah, just really kind of testing thing out, testing out the cameras and have them mounted and um, you know, obviously the bike and getting a feel for that got 131 kilometers on it so you know I've, I've ridden it a little bit but uh, not too much so but yeah let me know what should what should we call the bike you know I was thinking you know the name that was kind of standing out for me was Rosebud right <laughs> I just I think it fits for this bike I really do I think it's uh, a perfect name for this bike it's simple it's it's uh, yeah, Rosebud. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm, I'm open for suggestions. Uh, but yeah, man, really, really digging this bike so far, enjoying it. What a phenomenal ride. I mean, really, seriously, I mean, this bike, you know, it's a 500cc bike. It's got, you know, it's got some power to it. Not a ton, right, like you'd be used to in the West. Uh, but plenty of power for the kind of riding that's here. And guys, you know, I mean, anyone who's been on a bike and, and rode for a lot, it really is a conversation about getting the right tool for the job. And, you know, big leader bikes and stuff, they're just, ooh, they're not super practical for here, as I about kill myself. <laughs> no. No, they're just not super practical for here. They're not. The bigger bikes like that, you know, you get on a big leader bike and, you know, you just, you can't even really get out of first gear, so, you know. This is a really good bike. It's got plenty of torque, got plenty of power. Um, super smooth, man. You know, I'm just really digging it. I like it in the corners here and in the twisties. It just feels really good, you know. Um, you know, coming off my last bike was 10350. Great machine, really a big, big fan of Royal Enfield, kind of what they've got going on there big fan of them but you know it just it really lacked a lot for me and I couldn't really ride more than an hour on it and without getting tired and sore so really excited about kind of getting on this machine and uh, being able to tour around the Philippines so it just uh it, yeah it just feels great really and I just now getting used to it I can't wait to have like you know whatever five ten thousand kilometers on it and just have you know a lot more mastery around the bike but uh, so far, really, really, really liking it. Uh, yeah, so what are some of the key standouts? Like I said, in the corner, she feels really good. Uh, decent torque, decent acceleration. You know, one of the complaints that I think people talk about this bike is kind of the top end. You know, she can be a little bit vibrating if you get in the upper speeds and like what, you know, I'm talking of maybe above 70 miles an hour. And honestly, guys, here in the Philippines, I don't think I'm ever gonna hit those kind of speeds. I really don't. I mean. You know, you've guys seen the top speeds that I really hit, you know, so that's kind of the complaints that I've heard about this bike, which wasn't a concern for me, uh, but it just feels really good. Uh, you know, light, nimble. The one other thing that I've kind of noticed a little bit is the soft brakes. I mean, especially in the rear brake, man, I feel like I really got to mash it uh, for that rear brake to come on, you know? So uh, that's one thing I've really noticed is a little bit of a con. Uh, but super comfortable. I mean, I spent maybe, you know, I haven't been able to ride it too much, but the one day I did get out for a period of time, you know, I probably spent an hour or so in the saddle uh, one way and then came around and did the same hour the way back. So, uh, you know, it had no problems with it at all. It felt really good. But uh, yeah, no real complaints so far. Uh, can't, like I said, I can't wait to just have a little more expertise or mastery with it. You know, feel like I'm super comfortable on it. 
where I got the feel for the brakes, got the feel for the acceleration and everything there. So getting there though, getting there. It just takes time, right? But digging it so far, I really, I do love the riding here in this country. Um, you know, it's really, uh, you know, I ride year round, obviously. It's not like you've got snow or bad roads or anything like that. So the riding conditions really allow you to ride year round. And um, the roads, uh, you know, the, ride, the roads that I've been on so far have had no problems with it, you know. Um, everything's been paved. I've had sections where things are kind of washed out. You got a little bit of dirt. There's a section up here that's washed out, right? But, you know, all in all, the roads have been fine. You know, I do think an ADV bike, especially one like this, it's kind of a street bias ADV, just a little bit of a suspension to kind of get you through like this stuff, right? You got some potholes and construction. You know, I do feel like this kind of bike is really ideal uh, for the roads here versus a more like a uh, little harder suspension street bike. That might be a little bit of, uh, you know, you hit some of these bumps going around these curves and because the roads aren't perfect, but they are paved. You know, I, th I do think kind of a road bias ADV bike is, is really ideal for this country. Um, and really the NX500 is a great machine. I'm gonna do an entire video on why I chose this particular bike though. Um, there are a couple of other bikes that I was really, really considering. Um, MT uh, 450 uh, MT, you know, CF Moto 450 MT was one. Uh, the Himalayan 450 was another. Really, kind of those three. Also, the uh, 390 Adventure, I believe it is, or KTM. So, really, those are the bikes that I was really kind of looking at. I mean, the Tiger uh, 400 recently came out, right? And that is that's very similar to my my 350 Royal Enfield. So, I mean, that, it's another bike that's in kind of that market, but wasn't one I was considering. Uh, but I'll do a whole video, really kind of looking at those kind of three main bikes that were my top choices. And I really feel, you know, maybe 2026, that Himalayan is the bike to roam to, you know? Um, you know just, it's just so freaking practical and a, and a phenomenal machine for the Philippines as well. Go anywhere bike, you know? Um, and I might, you know, I might get one eventually. I, I do see myself owning a couple of bikes here. But yeah, just kind of out today, going up the highway and thought I'd, uh, try to you know test out a bunch of stuff get out filming a little bit try to get out riding i got a trip coming up to uh a trip coming up to lete here where i'm gonna run up there and uh go see mary rose up in bye bye so uh yeah i'm running up there in the next couple days we're gonna do a little trip hang out she's right in between a couple of things there with her internship so yeah, the rear brake I'm not really good at. I feel like it's not much there of anything in that rear brake. Which, you know, as you guys know in slow maneuvers, right? It's nice to have uh, some rear brake. Yeah, I decided to come up today because I didn't think there would be as much traffic, but so much for that, eh? Uh, a little bit of construction as well. A little bit of construction. Yeah. I get around some of the stuff. Yeah, really good turkey bike, and I love, I do love how it corners. Um, I don't know, I've looked a little bit at the tires on here. I think they're the Dunlop Trail Max Mission. Um, you know, it looks like, yeah, obviously a more road bias bike, but I mean, that's what this is. So um, I think my main concern, if anyone knows about these tires on here, my main thing I want to kind of look more into is how it is in wet weather, right? Because that's one of the things you want to really get a good tire with some silica built into it uh, for wet weather. But yeah, if anyone knows a lot about these tires, feel free to drop whatever you know in the comments. 
I'll also in the description put exactly the tire on here. I'm pretty sure it's the Dunlop uh, Trail Max Mission. So, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of traffic. Yeah, she runs smooth though at low speeds like that, even without a rear brake, man. <laughs> yeah, it runs really good. Yeah, I'm just really, I can't tell you how excited I am to have this machine man just really 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 phenomenal like i said it'll be great when i feel like too i'm more used to it more confident comfortable on it you know just definitely tell it's a new bike and i don't have my feet on me yet right like just doesn't even feel close to being natural but even even so, just the first couple rides on it, I mean, just just like it's easy, you know. It's just a really easy, confidence-inspiring, not at all scary, but still fun, you know. It, you know, it's uh, it's a great machine. Yeah, really beginner-friendly bike. But you know, I kind of really hate that term as far as beginner bike. It's just come on, man. I mean, anyone can have fun and ride this bike, um, you know. So, but it is. It's it's an easy bike to ride, man. Uh, really, really dig that. I haven't really dove into any of the settings or technology on there to kind of figure out all the menus and stuff to see how that, wow, man, that was a freaking cord. <laughs> Woo, right in my head. I got a helmet on, but still, trips you out a little bit. Oh. <laughs> As I was saying, I haven't really dove a lot into the settings to see what uh what's what what you know all this stuff in there but i think you know it's a really simple bike and i don't think there's a lot to tweak there is a traction control button i think right here that i could use to turn off track traction control you know when i want to or get off road over there i don't really i'm not going to ride much off road or really at all on this bike you know if if i do find myself in a, in a situation where i'm going to do some off-road stuff i think what i'm going to start to do is um I'm gonna get a bike that's more suited for that, right? Like I'm gonna get a, CR, a, a CRF 300 Rally and, and do some more and do some off-road stuff. So, uh, so that's kind of the plan with that. Once I, you know, once I get in the community, guys, if I get a community, guys that want to ride, I just I'm not really interested in doing that stuff by myself. It's not really smart, right? Um, especially out here. But yeah the traffic today oh you know what it's a holiday today that's what's going on like what the heck why is there so much dang traffic today here uh here's Humba heaven up here on the right i love this place i've been here a bunch of times shot a bunch of videos from there uh really dig it Get good little mango shakes and stuff great view phenomenal view from there looking out over It's too bad there's so much traffic because this road's really fun. It you know it uh, gets some speed on. I mean, look at this curve. It's not going to show in the video, uh, but it's really steep. Yeah, and this bike just kind of you know nothing for it, right? This feels really good. I can tell she wants to kind of dip in and go. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm gonna kind of shut stuff off and just kind of focus on the riding a little bit. Like I said, I'm really still getting used to the bike and uh, I'm just gonna focus on riding around and you know, probably stop at some coffee shops up here, or, you know. So we'll pick the video back up in just a little bit. Be right back. Oh man, back home now. What a ride, what a great machine. So excited to have that bike, can't wait to get it fully kind of dressed out. I've got, I think I ordered 11 different accessories panniers, top box, center stand, uh, uh, bolt charger, you know, a bunch of different things. So I'm really excited about getting all the accessories, get everything put in there. So 
Uh, it's going to be several months though. They didn't have anything on stock. It's got to be, it's ordered. It's coming from Japan. So it's going to be, I think they, they quoted me around four months uh, that it take to get all the, all the accessories in. But what a phenomenal machine. Uh, I just love it, love it, love it. It's so easy to ride. What a treat. I mean, just an absolute treat being on that bike and riding around. I just, so thrilled and excited to explore the rest of this country. So here we come, man. Stay tuned. A lot more to come. See you guys in the next one. Empine.